Hey viewers, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Oh man, I am super excited to get into this episode that, you know what, F it. We're just gonna start. There's no point in like stalling the episode, let's just experience. That's, that's what I say, experience, because that's what this is. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? It was a good show, but, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. God, it was such a dreary recap. But I like it. I like it. It makes me excited to get into this chapter, not gonna lie. So, yeah, don't even need to recap. It did it for me. And, man, we got, we got fucked up. But that's okay, because I'm Big B. I'm, I'm, I'm total wolf. Total, total man. See, look at that. I bleed all over the floor, and it doesn't phase me one bit. Wait, what, what the... Are, are we dreaming? We, All we totally are dreaming. Are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single That just scrap, doesn't sound pleasant. He's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oof. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. What... What happened to me? There was... You got lucky. And found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, oh, okay. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna fix my arm and rapidly press the X button. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oof. Oh, this, this is just. <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little squeamish. This is just nasty business right here. This looks so... Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. When I started today's part, I was not ready for this. Not at all. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, you should. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> but I'm the renegade. I get the feeling I'm getting told to cool it on being a renegade. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me. Ah, she cares that. about me. And I need the space to work, so don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. 
will be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a good point. <sighs> there. All done. Great. Wait, that was it? This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Jeez, we really did get this fucked one. up. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Oh, man. So, how do you, um, feel? It's big beast. No. Serious? He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see <laughs> my look. thoughts exactly. I'm glad you're not dead. Aw, she really does care about us. You uh you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. Guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? Well, what's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, the Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah. You know what? I... About... Yeah. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. That made us look weak? Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look, I'm not I'll saying... I've been okay. okay. Just that we could have done without all the uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's gonna think... I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. 
At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. But why? The right way. What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I don't that like the, the way things sure, are yeah. sounding. I mean, I'm trying to this listen to the dialogue going on right now, and what clearly, what this sounds into, all stupid, anti-renegade, straight up. Monsters. The fight lava. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind hmm. at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost you know all faith in our ability to help this town. I'm sure I, I, I don't agree with any of this. Easy sure, it's probably gonna lose me points with snow, but <laughs> screw it. I'm a renegade. I'll be fine on my own. So what if I get my hand cut off? You think What's I don't the worst that could happen? My life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president mm, of the big Should I be nice to Colin or should I? But this is the should I give him shit time to put shackles it. on. You know what? Well, I'll think the guy. Understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now. What's it gonna be, Bigby? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. I'm so confused. Yes, so basically, it's like right follow Snow's orders. Defend Marissa. Colin. Marissa. That broad from the pudding and Little pudding. Mermaid. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed. Really I mean, serious I mean, really. About it, um. But I can still hang out here, right? Look. Uh, yeah, yeah. Senna, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, big. I don't know why I'm gonna be so nice to him, but you know what? I'm sure. I'm sure at the end of the game, it's gonna it's gonna reflect whether or not he helps me out or not. So, some choice like that. I'm not really sure. I feel like being nice to Colin. He was he was standing up for us. He was he was standing by our side. You know, he's like let let chaos. Hey, it's the Little Mermaid.